Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. Wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was lift. Gotta get a bitch, I lick. Hold my shot, we lick. Hold that bad little bitch. Hold that bad little bitch. What's going on guys? It's your boy LA Crypto coming back at it again with another daily DGen update. If you guys are brand new to my channel, this is a DGen Yield Farm channel. So if you guys are brand new to Yield Farms in general, I suggest you guys check out my tutorials, ask a whole bunch of questions around the community telegrams, and once you guys kind of get the gist of everything, come on back. Besides all of that, I always go through the BSC farms first, then I show off the Phantom, then I hit the AVAX, and then lastly I cover Polygon. So if all you guys want to do is check out the Phantom, AVAX, or Polygon farms, feel free to check out the timestamps listed below. All I ask is you guys smash that like button right before you go. But anyways, man, let's just get to it. So first one up, BSC side. BSC side isn't too dry. You know, you got like a couple little farms. But as of right now, the uh, BSC dragon, dude, super dumped, all right? So everyone who saw my comment on the last video, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys waited on that dump fest. And, you know, actually just waited for a place for it to, you know, cruise on out. As of right now, 40 cents seems to be a spot where, you know, it kind of chilled on out. Um, obviously, you know, these little random pumps, you know what happens. These are whale guys trying to pump out. However, the only reason I'm saying that 40 seems nice is it dropped to a 40, rocked up, dropped basically the same. And right now, we're about to see it the same. If it rocks up again and then drops back to 40 and, and you know, essentially 39 cents to 40 cents ends up being the floor... You can definitely bet that, um, you know, the down, the uh, uptrend will eventually start somewhere around here in the next, you know, 6 to 12 hours. So, anyways, just keep you guys' eyes out for that. And like I said, dude, just pay attention, all right? You don't have to jump in. You can just wait. As of right now, you know, I jumped in because I have a little bit of extra funds. And if this drops down maybe to 38 cents or 37, once I see that confirmed uptrend, I'll just, you know, throw in some more. So, like I said, I'm, I can go ahead and DCA if needed, but... Yeah, there's no way I was going to join in, you know, 60 cents or 90. Like, nah, I was 100% waiting for that dump to finish out before I jumped in. But you guys already know what's up. So anyways, make sure you guys run through the motions. Always hit that uh, FAQ so that way you guys can hit the docs and then check out the price chart. As you guys see, man, dude, price chart, it matters a lot. There's going to be some people who are going to want to swing trade and do some stuff. So just pay attention to these, like, you know, spikes and, you know, these, um, these uh, you know, quick pumps. But besides all that, like I said, once it kind of stops dumping, eventually it's going to start cruising on back up. So like I said, right now, you know, we got a little head and shoulders or a little uh, W if you guys want to call it that. So like I said, just pay attention to those things. You guys will be all right. But anyways, BSC Dragon is the same thing as Poly Dragon, which this one also came out with the Phantom. So, you know, I'm about to cover that in a bit, but, but we'll get to it once we cover it. But yeah, anyways, everything else is basically the same. So if you guys want to check it out, link will be down in the description. Just pay attention to that price chart right before you guys jump in. All right. And the other, you know, farm on BSC side is going to be this saggy titty bitch. <laughs> so like I always tell you guys, you know, I'm not really uh, in on this. This guy, uh, you know, the dev, Kurt, the whole team, they basically soft rug the shit out of everyone on um, dark side finance. So that's basically why we don't trust it. But like I said, the only reason I'm bringing up saggy titty bitch is literally just because of the pre-sale that you see down here. So everyone who, you know basically got robbed well we're all supposed to be getting the allocated free tokens for this bsc side so pay attention to the pre-sale once these guys get the pre-sale then we'll figure out what's going on with us to be honest with you like i said you know it's possible that he's going to do some kind of grimy ass shit where he holds all our tokens or something and then you know uh, just allows them to get theirs but like i said just pay attention so we can figure out what's going on and then go ahead and make your moves but anyways yeah man that's saggy titty bitch so i'm just gonna keep it going and like i said if you guys were in on the pre-sale Go ahead and check this one out. If you guys are looking at this one and you're thinking about jumping in the pre-sale, don't. This little uh, one-third on the Phantom isn't going to be shit. The pre-sale that you guys get, you guys are going to be down immediately as soon as you guys jump in. So trust me when I say, dude, this guy's just going to rob you guys for your money and then throw all of it towards NFTs and other crap. So just pay attention to that and you guys will be all right. But anyways, yeah, fuck this guy and let's keep it going. So like I said, BSC side, this is all you guys have. If you guys want to play around with like a one-day shit farm, then go ahead and check out uh, Peach Decks. But like I said, dude, just pay attention to the docs. Make sure that their audits, you know, are on point. If they never get a clean audit, pass, all right? But yeah, like I said, dude, just, you always got to watch stuff like that, all right? I would prefer, even though this shit is dumping, I would prefer, you know, you guys find an entry on, like, Dragon or something. Because at least, you know, they're not going to rug pull you guys. But obviously, you know, that's NFA. And, you know, I know some of you guys kind of got hurt. But it is what it is, so 
pay attention to the price charts and you guys will be all right. But that's basically it for BSC side. So give me a second and move on over to Phantom and we'll pick it back up. All right, guys. So we're over here on Phantom. First one up, Jet Swap. So Jet Swap actually, you know, rose from the dead a couple days ago from like $1.20 or so all the way back to like two something. I think it was like two fifty, whatever. And then from hitting that ATH, you know, it creeped on back down and, you know, we're basically sitting at 180 So for all you guys who took profit and ran up with it, you know, shout out to you guys. I took profit and I was pretty happy. Obviously, you guys know that the market was pumping, so I was taking profit everywhere. So <laughs> it was a real good weekend. But for you guys, you know, hopefully you guys were doing the same and you guys were making those moves. JetSwap has been pretty chill, so like I said, just pay attention to the price chart. If this still looks like it's on an uptrend, then go ahead and jump in. If it looks like it's on a downtrend, then like I always tell you guys, just wait. You know, there's no need to throw your money in and basically be losing your money slowly because, you know, you were just, you know, eager to jump in. So like I said, just wait on the price chart for it to go on an uptrend. Go ahead and make your moves. But yeah, man, JetSwap is pretty chill, so just keep an eye out for, you know, any partnerships or anything because that's usually going to pump the price. But yeah, man, if you guys want to check it out, you guys already know what to do. Next one up. All right, so next one up I got, Mezzo Finance. All of you guys have been bugging me to cover it. And um, man, like I was telling you guys, you know, I don't really care about covering the swing portions of that, especially if it's, you know, the farm hasn't popped off, especially if the farm has no audit. Yeah, dude, there's no point. For all you guys, you know, who are like, oh, dude, look, but we, you know, we Forex or whatever it is. Awesome, dude. There was a whole bunch of us who were in this thing called Pirate Ghost, which soft rugged the shit out of everyone, all right? And I'm telling you, I did a 13x on that. Does that make the farm good? Does that mean that I should be, oh, yeah, no, guys, just don't worry. They soft rugged you guys, just, you know, 13x? Nah, dude, that doesn't make the farm good. That makes the token badass, right? So if you guys are making money, shout out to you guys. That's fucking fire. However, dude, volatility matters a lot when I'm showing stuff off. No audits matters. So obviously, finally, Mezzo, you know, I want to bring them up. They're finally showing up right here. So they're finally doing a goddamn Paladin audit after they've already launched, which makes no goddamn sense. But whatever, you know, it's better late than never. So now that's why I'm showing them off to you guys. Trust me when I say, man, things have been a lot different before I used to show you guys anything. And as it is now, dude, I'm just trying to keep you guys safe. So, like I said, dude, for all you guys who didn't understand why I'm not showing it off, that's why, dude. If you go, if you had uh, went to their documentation, I I'll do that right now. We go over here to where uh, their audits and reviews. For the longest, this was all it was. All they had was that Jagger Safer and then a Rug Doc. And to not even have a free tech rate audit, that was crazy. That I mean, that was weird. So... Like I said, that's basically the only reason why I didn't show them off all crazy. It's just that. Besides that, like I said, you know, they're doing all right. If you come over here, check out that price chart. The dump is finally looking like it's chilling the hell out. You know, it could keep on dumping, dude. Some guys are dumping some pretty big numbers. But um, like I said, dude, just find an entry. If you guys can find an uptrend, go ahead and jump in. Never farm on a downtrend, all right? If it looks like this and it's going on up, dude, this is perfect. This is primo farming, all right? But you guys already know what's up. So like I said... Now that they're finally going through with the Paladin audit, I'll go ahead and show them off. Regular routine always applies, so check out those docs, check out the price charts, and then go ahead and find a spot for you guys to jump in. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Next one up, Morpheus. So I told you guys this boy was popping off, and dude, it was annihilating, all right? So obviously, if you guys come over here, they have a bunch of partnerships, you know. Partnerships matter a lot because of these little pulls and everything, that's what's going to pull a lot of people to jump on in. Besides that, let's say we hit up uh, Grim, these other pools that they have, whenever they first pop them out, you know, they are they have a lot of higher APR and stuff. So that pulls a lot of people to, you know, want to jump on in. So like I said, dude, just pay attention to their announcements, pay attention to the TGs. All you guys who don't understand why it pumps and stuff like that, especially the guys who keep asking me, how come Olive is dead and Morpheus is, you know, <laughs> exploding, you know? I keep trying to tell you guys, these are two different farms, dude. Olive... I'm not trying to throw any shade, but dude, Olive died on th and now three different uh, chains. So, you know, anyone who kind of was putting up on the same thing, yeah, that's not where they were at. So just make sure you guys pay attention to this guy. If the TGs or the announcements saying that they're talking about a layer two or that they're talking about moving to another chain, pay attention, all right? You guys don't want to be the last ones to know. But anyways, pay attention to the docs if you guys want to jump in here. The farms are extremely low APR, but like I said, dude, you could probably find a vault or somewhere else. And, um, yeah, man, if you guys can find a higher APR, go ahead and run it. Link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. Just make sure you guys run through a routine, all right? And next one, Olive. Like I said, dude, it's already basically dying out. 
Um, that's kind of what it did on BSC side. It's what it did on Avalanche, and that's what we expected it to do over here on Phantom. So you already guys know, man, that's crypto. That's just the way it is. Not every farm can, you know, run and do everything they got to do. Some farms just jump from chain to chain because, you know, their farm just can't hack it. So Olive has always been that. And, um, yeah, man, that's kind of why, you know, it took forever for me to show it off on Phantom because I knew Olive was just going to be dumping and it was going to be... It was going to be pretty crappy, but obviously once we caught that uptrend, you know, I felt comfortable showing you guys and obviously it did really well. So shout out to Olive for that, what, like week or week and a half that it did extremely well. So yeah, man, kudos to you guys, but Olive is basically dead. So if you guys are expecting to come back from the grave, yeah, man, that's basically what the BSC guys and the Avalanche guys thought too. So good luck, man. Go ahead and join their uh, Alcoholics Anonymous with those guys and, you know, go ahead and share some stories. So Olive Swap is basically dead. So it's going to be the last time I cover it. And lastly, FTM Dragon, all right? So the FTM Dragon finally came out on uh, Phantom side, and right now, you know, it's on a little semi-pump. Pay attention to the price, all right? The reason why I say that is, you know, the pre-sale amount was uh, 50 cents. So the closer this gets to 50 cents, the more safer you guys are when you guys buy in. If you guys are buying in at 90 cents, a dollar, a dollar 20, expect to get dumped on, dude, because all the people who bought in the pre-sale at 50 cents, bro, trust me when I say, man, they're going to take profit. But yeah, man, besides that, you guys just pay attention to the price chart. This one's going to be the same as the uh, BSC side and the poly side. Now, to be real with you guys, I don't, I know they're not going to listen, but if I can, if the devs are listening or they can hear this, dude, stop fucking with the bridge. Drop that bridge shit and let these farms actually run their course. Every single time you talk about the bridge, it makes people dump because nobody wants to get dumped on by, you know, some fucking from a BSC side or some guys from poly side you know picking them up at 30 cents and then bringing them over here bridging them and then dumping over here on the uh, FTM guys if it's past a dollar you know like that's the reason why you guys are having crazy sell-offs so if you guys are you know fans of D gold and dragon and and obviously you know the devs might not check out this video tell them remind them tell them that you guys do not want the bridge tell them just to quit that bridge completely and let phantom run its course trust me when I say man I know it sounds weird but if they were to do that this guy would literally pump back up to two, three dollars, run an entire farm, do everything that the first one did. Instead, BSC, as you guys all know, BSC side dude basically dumped and started dying because of the bridge. So, you know, obviously I'm just some guy on YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, if any of you guys think like me or you guys, you know, respect my viewpoints, like I said, man, that's a key point. All right. That bridge is fucking terrible. But yeah, man, it is what it is. So like I said. Just take, pay attention to the price chart, run through the motions, you guys will be alright. And that's basically it for Phantom, so <laughs> like I said, man, make sure to check out Jet Swap. If it's on an uptrend, jump in. If it's on a downtrend, just wait. Besides that, you guys also have Mezzo Swap to check out, so go ahead and check out Mezzo. Like I said, dude, it's definitely on the downtrend, so just wait it out, see what's going on with them, alright? Once it's on an uptrend, go ahead and jump in, and then, you know, start farming it out. If the pools or the farms are too low, then like I said, just pass, dude. This isn't one of those amazing farms anyways. People are just talking about it a lot because, like I said, they were swing trading. And obviously, swing trading and farming are two different animals. So, anyways, if you guys want to check it out, you already know what's up. Morpheus. Like I said, pay attention to the price chart. Make sure it's not, you know, on the downtrend or dumping on you guys. And if you guys can find a farm or some kind of pool where you guys can, you know, get some juicy APRs, go ahead and do so. Morpheus has been a beast. So, like I said, man, go ahead and check that out. If they end up doing a layer 2 or another uh, chain, I'll make sure I bring it to you guys. And then lastly, <laughs> FTM Dragon, all right? Like I said, man, pay attention to the price chart. And like I said, pre-sale, 50 cents. The closer this is to 50 cents, the more safer you are. So if this looks like it's going to pump crazy, then go ahead and jump in whenever you feel like it. But that's going to be my little uh, tip to you guys. So anyways, that's it for Phantom. Give me a second to move on over to AVAX, and we'll pick it back up. All right, guys. So we're over here on AVAX. First one up. Farmers only. So a lot of you guys were telling me uh, that something was up with farmers only and how come it basically, uh, <laughs> how come it dumped 75%. And um, to be honest with you, I don't really know what you're talking about. Like, you know, for all you guys who, I guess, thought that this was going to be at 5,000 and you guys were going to farm to 5,000. I don't know what the hell you've been smoking, but you guys really need to pass that to me, man, because <laughs> that must be some bomb kush. But anyways, dude. 
yeah, anyone who was up here, you know, I hope you guys understand why I told you guys to take profit whenever you felt comfortable because, yeah, dude, you guys are under a 1000 So, you know, if you guys took profit at 1800 you guys made money. If you guys took profit at 2400 you made money. Profit at three grand, you made money, you know, yada, yada. This is always to be expected, dude. Like, the farm's always dumb. Like, that's 100% normal. So, uh, any of you guys who bought in right here and thought, you know, you're going to farm... Well, man, I hope you guys learned that lesson because it seems to me like every single day you guys are always losing money. It's always the same thing. There's always a whole bunch of people who buy here. And then in the telegrams, all the people, you know, once the price is down here, you just see people complaining, crying, calling a scam, yada, yada. It's like, it's crazy, dude. Every single farm is the exact same. So anyways, um, for all of you guys who are wondering how come it hasn't just exploded back on up, that's not how these farms work. Um, trust me when I say, man, yeah, you guys had some people buying in and you guys had some ridiculous looking, uh, trading, but this has nothing to do with the farm. Like I have some crazy fanboys on farms. We had this one guy, dude, this was a super fanboy. That boy, his nose is super brown. That was all up in bed with the dev talking good. And like, I don't think he understood that this had nothing to do with the actual farm. This is the farm, this dump and it's staying completely silent. That's the farm. Like, this is it. This is what you guys got, you know? Not every farm is going to be the greatest ever, but you know, this is really it. So now that you guys see the farm, if it recovers, flies back on up, has great APRs, awesome. That means farmers only a strong farm. If it never does go back up and it just keeps dumping and never has that, you know, rush on up, well, then, you know, you guys got to learn how to take a lick and leave it. Because any farms, you know, that basically dump 80%, you know, they're supposed to kind of correct and, you know, shoot on back out. So if this never corrects and, you know, basically goes back towards like, 16 towards you know closer to two grand well that's gonna kind of suck but like i said dude it is what it is so anyways for all you guys on farmers only just pay attention to the price chart try to find a good entry and like i said if you guys want to run over the farms the aprs dude the aprs are crazy fat so i'm not saying you know anything's bad on here i'm saying you should expect this shit to keep dumping i'm thinking this is going to be around uh poly beta range so anyone you know who was in poly beta you guys should know what to expect all you guys who thought poly beta was going to stay over 1500 you know, I, <laughs> I apologize if you guys didn't understand why I was laughing my ass off, but I hope you guys understand now. And so anyone who understands that, just expect that same thing to happen with farmers, and you guys will be all right. The whole point of farming, DJ and yield farming and everything is to, you know, get in and be able to get out what's profit. It's not for you guys to jump in, swing trade, and, you know, rob people. It's just for you guys to jump in, you know, gain some profit, a nice little 5-10% profit, whatever it is on your bag, and then jump on out. Let it drop on down, wait for another entry, and then do it all over again. But you guys already know what's up, man, because it's basic routine. is what we do all the time. But yeah, man, that's basically farmers only. So like I said, just make sure you guys run through the motions. Check out that price chart. Wait for that entry. You guys should be all right. Link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. Next one up, A-Swamp, all right? So A-Swamp was smashing all right for a cool minute dude it finally came on back up from i think like a dollar what 40 or dollar 50 rose back on up for the grave and it's been chilling so anyone who has been in here farming doing your thing you guys are rocking it all right obviously 17 16 percent that's awesome so anyone who was able to buy in down at the bottom and jump in you guys are making money everyone else who didn't or you know you guys are kind of like me where you guys are waiting for an entry well then just sit back wait for an entry and then you know go ahead and capitalize just pay attention to the APR because once the APR starts getting too low, then that means people are going to stop jumping in. Oh man, did you guys see that? Look at that thing went from like two something to dollar sixty five, boys. Woo! Damn, that's it. <laughs> Glad I didn't that bad boy. But anyways, like I said, dude, pay attention to those price charts. Crypto's crazy, all right. Anyways, if you guys want to still check out uh, a swamp, like I said, APRs are pretty crazy, so just pay attention to them. And like you just saw right now, dude, people are going to be taking profits. So if you guys can find a nice entry, go ahead and jump in. And if not, then it is what it is. So anyways, if you guys want to check it out, you already know what to do. And lastly, on AVAX, you guys got Ice Slush. So Ice Slush is coming out on the 5th, which is basically tomorrow. So tomorrow, this uh, is going to a fair launch. Just pay attention to the TG down here, this little arrow. Click the group and then uh, go ahead and jump in. Once you guys are in, just get ready for the launch. And you guys already know what's up, so... After the launch, I think the farm starts in like a day or two afterwards. But, you know, when you guys are in the TG, you guys will find out. So, besides all that, man, just come down over here, hit the more, run through the routine, read the docs. So, you guys know what's going on with the farm, how they're doing their tokenomics, all of that stuff. You know, our basic routine. After that, like I said, once the uh, stealth, once the uh, fair launch pops off, go ahead and check out the price chart. 
find a place to jump in. If you guys don't want to do the fair launch, just wait it out. Wait for all the people to, you know, take profit and dump that shit. And once they dump it, then you guys can pick up at the bottom at a way cheaper price. So you guys already know, man, these are the moves we make. This is what we talk about on the TG. So if this is new stuff to you guys, man, make sure you guys check out the community telegram. You guys are missing out by a long shot, all right? But yeah, that's Ice Slush. So if you guys want to check it out, you guys already know what to do. Link will be down in the description. And that's basically it for AVAC. So like I said, dude, farmers only. Pay attention to that guy. It's going to be dumping like a madman. Do not pay attention to these people telling you about all this hopium stuff that it's going to go back to three grand or four grand. And you just got to keep buying heavy because all they're going to do is just try to get you to pump their bag so they can dump on you. All right. I'm telling you to pay attention to that price chart and you guys obey the price chart. No one else. Just obey that price chart. If that price chart is an uptrend. You jump in and do your moves. If this price chart is in downtrend, then you already know what to do. But besides that one, pay attention to A Swamp. If A Swamp, you know, finds a nice entry, you guys can jump back in. Go ahead. If it is on a downtrend, just wait it out, all right? You guys never want to jump in on a downtrend and just keep losing money. And then lastly, I slush. So the fifth, which is tomorrow, is when it's gonna pop out. So make sure you guys, you know, jump into that fair launch if you guys, you know, want to kind of get a chance at grabbing that thing pretty cheap. But you already know what's up, so. That's basically it for AVAX. Give me a second to move on over to Poly, and we'll pick it back up. Alright guys, so we're over here on Poly. First one up, Despair. So Despair comes from the guys who did Delirium and the people who did Sandman. So this is their Layer 3. The launch for the Layer 3 is in a day, 9 hours. That's going to be the token. The farming is going to be basically in a week. So like, besides that, you know, just come over here. Hit the uh, docs. Uh, the little docs is going to be this book right here. And then after you guys after you guys read everything in the docs, figure stuff out, go ahead and check everything else out. Check out the little uh, farm, see what looks chill, see what looks good. Make sure you guys pay attention to the TG. That'll let you know what's going on with the actual launch. And you guys won't be confused. You guys won't be surprised by anything, all right? I tell you guys this all the time because, you know, I'm not trying to hold you guys' hands. If I have to hold your hand with these farms, that means you're going to wait for me to tell you when to jump in. Which means that you're not going to jump out in time because you're going to be waiting for me to tell you when to jump out. And that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about making sure that all you guys are self-sufficient. I'm trying to turn all you guys into little degen monsters, dude. Because trust me when I say, man, it's easier for me on my end to teach you guys. And so you guys can learn and you guys can get a, you know, a hang of everything. Versus me just make call outs. And you guys either just make money or lose money. And you guys have no clue what's going on. So like I said, dude. The TG, pay attention to that, you know, talk with people, everyone's real cool in all the TGs, and the docs, extremely important, that lets you know what's going on with the actual token, lets you know what's going on with the farm, lets you guys know what uh, audit they got, lets you guys know what's going to happen with the market cap, circulation, all of that, so, you guys already know, man, <laughs> it's basic routine, but, yeah, Despair is coming out from uh, Delirium, so just pay attention to that, you guys will be alright, link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out, next one up. Polysage. So Polysage is a layer two to Polywise. Polysage just popped out, smashing right now. If you guys are gonna try to jump in, 100% pay attention to that price chart. All right, you definitely want to try to jump in under two grand if you can. It's gonna be pumping pretty crazy. It usually pumps up like past 2,500 and then drops. But like I said, dude, just pay attention to what's going on, and you guys will be all right. Besides that, make sure you guys run through the you know normal, hit that more, read the docs. Once you guys figure out the docs and see if there's anything different between this Polywise and Polysage, go ahead and check out the price chart if you guys are going to jump on the native. If you guys are going to, you know, play around with the farms and do some stuff, like I said, this comes from Polywise. So it's also possible that you guys can pick up the Layer 1 token if you guys want to farm or, uh, you know, basically you want to use Wise to farm Sage. So, like I said, there's always a clean Layer 1 play, and a lot of people have already tried to jump in so that they can, you know, pick up and either ride the uptrend and sell off or farm. A majority of people, like I'm always trying to warn you guys, a lot of them are just trying to sell off. That's kind of just what they do. They'll pick up this Polywise at like 40 bucks, wait till the farm starts, and then they'll just sell off. They're not going to farm and all of that, which is why I always tell you guys to pay attention to the price charts. Once it goes up pretty crazy, you also need to take profit. That way, if case someone, you know, decides to just go ahead and sell off and dump on everyone, you're fine because you took profit and you guys will be able to kind of get back out and go back in. But you guys already know what's up. It's basic moves, what we have to do all the time. Besides all of that, everything else is regular. It's still the same, just like Polywise. So I expect these guys, you know, to be safe, exactly like Polywise. They're KYC, the liquidity's locked, so you guys should be pretty good. 
Will this be another Polywise? Will it explode? You know, I have no clue. I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know. I'm not a psychic. I don't know the future. Because if I did, dude, I'd be, oof, I'd be so fucking rich. <laughs> but nah, man. So hopefully this does pop off. And you already know, man, layer ones, you guys might be able to make some plays with that. And if not, it is what it is, dude. For sure, Sage is going to pop off. So just pay attention to everything I always tell you guys. You guys will be all right. Link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. Next one up. Poly Dragon, all right? So this one's on the uh, poly side. It is definitely down and out. I would suggest you guys just pass on this one completely because you guys already have the uh, Despair Farm coming out and you guys have Poly Sage. And I mean, if you guys are desperate, <laughs> I guess you guys still have beta, but yeah, I would just pass on that one too because you guys have those two popping out. However, if you guys are in Dragon still and you guys do like the APR that's, you know, you guys are getting, then as long as you guys bought in at the bottom, like 30 cents or 28 cents or whatever it was, you guys would be all right. But besides that, <clears throat> but if you didn't, like I said, just pass. There's no reason for you guys to be in here. Like I said, there's no reason for you guys to be farming in a downtrend. If you guys are farming profit like me, well, shit, it doesn't really matter because free money is free money. But if not, like I said, just pass, all right? So if you want to check it out, man, you guys already know what to do. Next one that dumped, Cafe Swap. So Cafe Swap is completely down and out. I hope you guys pulled out your LPs or pulled out your farms and you guys moved on out. Farms don't always last forever, and that's just the way it is. There was probably someone, you know, who had a whole bunch of uh, the mocha or whatever it was. And after, you know, farming and compounding, farming and compounding, farming and compounding, they decided to take profit. And that usually starts some pretty heavy dumps. But you already know, man, that is what it is. So anyways, if you guys were in Cafe Swap, hopefully you guys didn't get wrecked. But yeah, man, that's basically it for Cafe. So there's no point in me showing it anymore. It's basically dead and gone. They pop up with anything else or another chain or something, you know, I'll, I guess I'll let you guys know, considering that they did pretty well. But yeah, man, it's basically it for this. So anyways, let's move on and <laughs> to another dead one, Poly Beta. So the reason why I was telling you guys about Farmers Only is because Farmers Only, you know, went for a grand, then basically went to like, a, what, 1600 or 1800. And now it's at a thousand and it's hitting on and out. Poly Beta basically the same dude poly beta was a smasher look i mean it was kicking ass way up all right way up after that it smashed on down from there it smashed down again and these dumps dude it wasn't a full you know 80 percent dump you know this was their like 20 30 percent dump 40 50 percent dumps so these dumps were real slow as it crept on back down a lot of people were wondering if you know if it was gonna you know fly up if you guys were gonna get a lot of farm time i didn't expect it you know a lot of people kind of told me i might be wrong that i'd be eating my words you know they've been silent i haven't heard from them so <laughs> you guys already know what's up man not all farms are going to be popping off the same way layer ones do and as long as you guys are paying attention to the price charts you guys will be all right anyone who jumped in right here at 230 and basically farmed for about you know six to eight hours and basically sold off at 300 some you guys made some money Besides that, everyone else is just losing. So like I'm always trying to tell you guys, dude, just wait for it to stop dumping. Wait for this guy to dump out, let it drop. Once it creeps back up, it'll drop again. And then once it finally flies back up, that's when you guys jump in. Poly betas, their uh, little farm, the APRs, they're not like, you know, the end of the world. They are still pretty up high. Let me uh, get out of here real quick. You know, you're still looking at 20%. And this is with it at a fat ass dump. So like I said, dude, just... If you guys are, you know, I guess <laughs> beta maxis and you guys really love this, pay attention to your entries, all right? Don't bug me and ask me if this is going back to a 1,000. It never will, dude. I don't know what you were thinking holding, but <laughs> that's just the way it is, all right? Poly beta isn't a rug pour, none of that. It's just, like I said, this is one damn farms that dump and you got to wait it out. So everyone who's in farmers only, man, I hope you guys are paying attention to this because this is exactly what's going to happen to you guys. So, yeah, man, <laughs> good luck, all right? But anyways, that's poly beta. If you guys want to check it out, you guys already know what's up. Make sure you guys run through the routines. Pay attention to that price chart. That's numero uno. And you guys will be all right. Link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Next one up. Damn it, dog. Why you always do that shit to me? All right. Let me hit the Matic then. Yeah, let's go. Let my Matic bang, boy. <sighs> make finance. Make no. Get out of here. <laughs> all right. Let me see. Uh, all right. So anyways, um, Yield Wolf. God damn, what was going on, Yield Wolf? Let me start you up again. All right, so Yield Wolf Polygon. This one has been having some problems. Um, you know, I've been <laughs> hearing a lot of people, you know, complain about it. And yeah, man, it is what it is. Kind of nothing I can really do about it. 
definitely, you know, hitting the farms is the section where you guys will be clicking on to check these out. As of right now, you know, they're kind of having some issues, but it is what it is. If you guys do want to jump in here, like I said, just pay attention to the TGs, see what's going on with them, make sure everything's cool. And besides that, you know, if there's any of these buttons that aren't working, like new vaults or the all vaults, like I said, just pay attention to the TG, see what's going on with them. The team will let you know what's up. Until then, you know, like I said, just relax and just check out any of the other farms until then. If you guys want to check it out, you already know what to do. All right, and that's basically it for Polygon. So like I said, last minute shout outs, Despair Farm. This is the one that comes from Delirium and Sadman. So, you know, if you guys did all right over there, go ahead and check this one out. If you guys hate Sandman and Delirium, then like I said, just go ahead and pass, all right? Besides that one, you guys have Poly Sage. Poly Sage is the layer two from Poly Y, so make sure you guys check that one out, all right? Price chart, extremely important. Just make sure you guys jump in when it's down at a dip. And as of right now, since the farm hasn't started, you guys are just going to be swing trading or whatever. So just pay attention to that and you guys will be all right. Besides that one, like I said, Poly Dragon, pay attention to the BSC side and the Phantom side. Obviously, Poly side's kind of dead and over, so there's no point to check that one out, all right? However, if they do open up that bridge, then go ahead and bridge your funds over or just go ahead and sell off. Maybe check the other ones out. Definitely pass on the poly side, all right? Unless this has, you know, uh, an uptrend, I would just pass. And then lastly, like I said, you guys have poly beta. If poly beta looks to be finally on uptrend and everything looks clean, then go ahead and jump in. Like I said, dude, trust me, I know I'm talking shit about poly beta, but doesn't matter, dude. All farms... If they're a strong farm, they're going to be a strong farm, and I'm going to tell you about it. If they're a weak farm and they're dumping, I'm going to tell you they're dumping. I do not think Poly Beta is a weak farm. I definitely do think that it's dumping, though. So, like I said, if this guy can stop dumping, you know, find a recovery, then pay attention because these APRs are fat. <laughs> but you guys already know what's up, all right? But anyways, man, <laughs> this has been my time. If you guys like my content, like always, smash that like button for me. You guys know I appreciate that. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them down below. You guys can see, man, I answer everybody. I ain't shy. If for some reason, you know, I can't answer because it's late or whatever, check out the community telegram. I'm telling you, man, these guys are DJ monsters already, all right? I taught them everything I know, and they've already ran with it. These guys are from all around the world, which means they're up 24-7. So whatever question you guys have, trust me when I say, man, someone's going to answer it. But besides all that, man, this is like the third, fifth. 10th video, man, yo, that you watched, and you still ain't hit that subscribe yet, yo. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> all right, homies, y'all stay up, all right? Peace.